Alright, so I actually completed the Jarzine USB-C quite a while ago, but we're going to do a review on him. Um, he's on the bench where he belongs. Uh, we've actually changed it, so he's there now on the left wing. He absolutely rips defenders up. He is seriously good. Look at that 97 agility, 96 balance. He's, he is ridiculous. But anyway, that's not what we're here for. For Jarzinho, who has very good stats, you know. I mean, 80 long passes isn't great, but apart from that, look at all his stats. But he's just terrible in game. And I'll show you some... Um, footage now of what he's like, he's just awful, he should not have the stats that he does, he is so underwhelming and I'll show you now, just a quick review of him, you know, what he's good at, what he's bad at, I do rate his passes but he, he's just, he's slow for some reason, he always loses the ball, like I played a few games with him, you know, 49, 9, 12, it's not bad but it's not good enough, you know, it's not as good as him, or big Scotty twine, so yeah. Oh, he's turned him. Well, okay, he's broken through, but look, and then this can catch up. Oh, maybe he can't. He use skill. Oh, okay, nah. Maybe I should have passed it. Maybe he's being greedy, but. Mm. What I like to do in these reviews is just play one game and then see what, like, show you his highlights. What what goes well, what goes wrong. You know, whether I win or I lose. Oh, okay, that's a good start. We just play casually, you know, play like we normally would, but with him there. So obviously he can't run down that wing as quickly. Look, he's very slow acceleration, but once he gets going, he's not awful. See, this is what I would always do with Big Al. He would always run down that wing for me. And he's not, he's just not fast enough. He's not, he's not fast enough. He's not done bad there though. That was terrible. Oh, he's on a header here. Oh, he's knocked it in. He's knocked it in. He has put that one in. You know what? In like the 60th minute, I'll bring on Big Sed, and then we'll see what changes, like how how that affects the game style. You know, comparing the two, I guess. Okay, he's done him there, so that's always good. That was disgusting. That was a pass back. That's disgusting. Oh, he's got a good ball in there. Oh, wasn't a good shot to him. He whipped it in. Jalino, he's got, he's got two. He's got two. We'll keep him on. We'll keep him on a bit longer. He skinned him there. Come on, please. Oh, I need to score with a French player. Oh, he's too slow. He's too slow. Right, let's see what changes now then. Let's see what let's see what happens now. Oh well that didn't take long. We scored with a French player as well, which is nice. Run. Come on, this is it, he can't miss, he missed, oh, it's not over, it's in, Robbie Keane, what a goal, what a player, and I uh, did you notice as soon as we brought Jairzinho off, we did indeed get a result that wasn't too bad, so yeah, I think that's safe to say, like, if you can't afford Alawi Aaron, then whatever you call it, uh, then get Jairzinho, but if you can, make sure to get him, because he is a cracking player. I hope you enjoyed that little review. I saw someone in the comments um, asking about it, so um, thanks for that, because I actually did need a video idea, because I'm, I'm a bit dry at the moment for video ideas. Um, so, yeah. I mean, uh, yes, sir, one, two, three, says to start Jairzinho, so 
we've done that and um, I would say judging by the price of his SBC though is he really worth it compared to just getting someone like him I mean if he got loads of fodder I would but yeah right I'll wrap up it it's, I think that's a pretty solid review we've got a few more packs today we're on about 160 I think 162 I don't think we'll get 400 but I hope for 170 by the end of the week that'll wrap it up thank you for watching I really do hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you later Thank you for watching.